Hello traders, FS Pep Collector here. Today is Monday, June 19th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar Canadian starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the dollar Canadian monthly, I still think this is probably a complete uptrend right here. It is a way lower high than this over here, but it definitely looks like a complete trend, and the dollar index looks like it's heading down, so this is also probably going to go down and at least take out those lows. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame is where you can see the first impulse down, probably a wave one. This is most likely an ABC of two, and I think we are in a wave three, which is probably going to continue to make lower lows, lower highs, just like what I was showing on the monthly time frame. So let's take it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame is where you can see where it looks like a per, almost a perfect downtrend. One, two, three, four, five of one. We have one up for the A, we have three waves down for the B, and we got another uptrend for the C. So a very clear ABC correction, most likely a wave two. And I still think that this is all part of a wave three. That doesn't mean that it's not going to be some decent sized pullbacks along the way, but I think we're in a wave three, and I think it will just continue to make lower lows and lower highs. So taking it down to the four hour time Time frame. On the 4 hour time frame, our last major structure level is way up here, so really the trend is definitely still down. Most likely this move up that we're probably going to start is going to be a crescent to this last move down. Probably another three-way pattern up, another ABC crescent. At the completion of that ABC crescent, I think we'll get another continuation of the downtrend. So taking it right down to the one hour time frame. So on the one hour time frame, it looks like almost a perfect downtrend. One, two, three, four, five. I think this is actually probably a wave A looking at other correlated dollar pairs. This is actually three ways down for the B. And we probably are going to start to drift up for a wave C. Now, it is a holiday today in the U.S. It's definitely not a big holiday, but it is a bank holiday. I personally don't trade on holidays because it can be a major lack of volatility. But I still think it probably is going to drift up to at least a 38 to 50 percent over the next 24 hours before it makes it a possible move down, takes out structure, and ends up continuing the downtrend. So I am definitely still looking for sorts, and I'm definitely still looking to go sort at the end of ABC Corrections. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks, and happy trading.